Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first one today comes from, he thought I was 18. Um, why do you have to be over 16 years old to get your scoop? So my 12 year old and me cannot get two vouchers to get one each unless I lie on the form? What can I do? Please don't suggest rereading the terms and conditions, please. Or is it a gimmick so parents have to buy the ice cream? Get dude, this is a family. Usually due to privacy and protection laws for minors, giving out private information. Here you have to provide phone number and email as well as the nearest location so companies have to put an age cap. So why can't the parent add plus one or two? Come on, it's a free ice cream. Don't act like you paid for it, Sharon. I mean, they all have a point. If you want your 12-year-old to get ice cream, just buy them some. I'm sure it's not that expensive. Or you can take your chances on lying on the form and deal with the consequences if you get caught. This next one is from Photography by Adri. My daughter is living with me. I have allowed cockatoo and other birds. She is pregnant. Do you think the cockatoo will be too loud for a newborn? They are asking me to rehome him and I can't do that. Any advice for babies and birds? The way I see it is, your daughter is living with you. It's your house, your rules. Your pets should take priority. If she's not happy with that, then she should find somewhere else to stay. This next one is from Mr. Jimmy the Wimmy. Is this still available? Yes. Is it your private owned car? And what is the mileage? Yes, one person owned, 6,500. Any issues with it? Mechanical? Any dents, stings, or scratches? No, it is in excellent condition. Where are you located? I have a very detailed description on the listing, here. Are you negotiable on the price? I can pay in full cash. 63,500 is the lowest I can do, no less. Would you do 50k cash tomorrow? I'll take it as is, won't ever come back to bother you. I've had offers from dealers of 56,500 and declined because I know it's worth more. Come take a trip down to Manhattan tomorrow and I'll give you cash. For a selling price of 64500 and an instant deposit of 3 k I'll drive down to New York, but it will not be tomorrow. Maybe Friday. You said 63 k the other day, bro. Come to Manhattan and take 50 k cash and enjoy the city. It's a 5-year-old Mercedes for 64 k I can buy one in warranty. My bad, 63500 but I will not drive to Manhattan for 50 k I also need another person with me for the trip back. 52,000. I can just sell it to a dealer here for 56k and wouldn't have to drive 270 miles. You want me to drive down to New York and sell it for 52k so you can flip the car and sell it for 60k plus. No, I keep it personally. I'll sign the title on the spot. Dealers are bullshit. I'll sell it for 63k, no less. Kelly Blue Book is a waste of time. No one gonna give that money. If it was worth it, the car would have been sold already. Come take 50k. Honestly, at this point, I think you're wasting my time. It's only been a week since I posted it. Cars that cost a lot takes more time to sell anyways. I'm no longer gonna sell my car to you. The car is gonna get corona. Very bad luck. Come take cash before it gets corona and breaks. I don't think I will. I'd sell it instantly for 56 k at the dealer, before I have to come down to you. Dealer will lowball you. I've already had the vehicle appraised at three dealerships and the highest offer from a dealership was 56 k I could have signed it there. No good, very bad luck. No eat bat no more. I need complete sentences from you. Bat, no eat bat. I'm confused at who they're saying is eating bats, but my guess is the choosing beggar is probably eating a bat trying to screech out a deal the way that they're trying to get to happen. I don't know. Who knows? But, you know, quite frankly, yeah, they're asking for a lot for very little. This next one is by LunaTKF05. Hey, I saw you do commissions. Can I have one? 
Yeah, sure. What do you want? Can I have a full body colored shaded commission of my OC in the last post with the other OC of the post next to him? With the black castell in the background? The post should be a big hug and a kiss with the two OCs. It's for my birthday. Wow, that's a big commission. For all of this, it would be like 30 euros. Remember, euros, because it would be less for me in American dollars. Um, what? <laughs> what the fuck? In the post, it is 20, and I told you, it's for my birthday. <laughs> so? I decide the price. And yeah, because I didn't include the background, and plus character, which is kind of my fault, sorry. And I'm still being nice. It should be at least 35. Oh my god, what kind of furry, offensive word, that still can't even do drawings? That good wants to be paid that much? And you're like 15! Can you even do this legally? You want me to fucking report you? It's even for my fucking birthday! Like, dude, come on! Do it for 10, and I'm being nice! 30 is fucking nice for you? It isn't. Wow, no. No to this. I won't deal with a 20 plus adult that screams like a child and uses furry and offensive word as an insult and can't even pay when they want a service. You're an adult, that's how life works. Want something from someone else? Pay. But even if you want to pay right now, fuck off. I ain't drawing for no man-child. At least, and what I'm doing is legal. It would be illegal if it was porn since I'm a minor, but you probably don't know this, like you don't know basic human decency. Happy birthday, bitch. What a great way to come back to an adult child. I mean, in all honesty, the way the world works, yes. If you want a service, you need to pay for it. Clearly, they didn't get that, and they want to play the birthday card as if that has any relevance to getting a service. This next one is from Naruto Ate My Ramen. I hope this is allowed. My washing machine has broken down, and I need something urgently. If you have anything less than six months old, or preferably new and can deliver and install and take my old one away, I will do my best impression of gratitude. I think it's going to take a little more than your best impression of gratitude, unless your impression of gratitude is you taking money out of your wallet and handing it to the person for their time, effort, as well as their wash machine. This next one is by Schlatter91. Looking for a job. $20 an hour minimum, no background checks, and must allow periodic part-time if needed. No shitty-ass restaurant stuff. It's funny how they want a certain dollar amount, but they're not willing to do what's required to get that dollar amount, and then wants periodic part-time if needed. Well, no. I don't think they're gonna get that job. This next one is by HeyJoe28. Hi, is this still available? I would like to buy your Sony DSC-H7 for $35. I would like to buy your Sony DSC-H7 for $0. Sorry, I don't have enough money for not $1. Sorry for free, huh? What? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking myself. Just what? I'm guessing they just want something for free, but they needed to put something in there to be able to send the message. I don't know. And our final one today comes from Colin Dave. Number one. I have no long-term debt, and no, I'm not paying yours if you do, but I don't care if you have any debt. Number two, obviously not applicable here yet. Number three, no kids, don't want them at all, never, nope. Number four, technically five, undetermined, flexible, and unpredictable career timeline. Willing to relocate anywhere, you must be okay with whatever I decide. I will always put money before people, no matter who it is. Number six, non-religious, prefer sensible people who aren't religious and are very progressive, and talking like communism, end of the spectrum. Number seven, I have anger management issues. As long as you don't cheat on me or mess with me, I won't punch holes in walls. I'm very difficult to piss off, so if you succeed, you went above and beyond to do so and you knew what you had coming. Number 9. Wear what you like, just don't drastically change your appearance unless I like the change. Ask first. Number 10. I'm very, very kinky and very sexually adventurous, and I'd prefer you be too. Number 11. No splitting bills. All money is kept separate. 
You must sign a prenuptial agreement that all belongings go to me. Number 12. I prefer young. 18 or 19. Number 13. No hugs, except family. No kisses on the lips, except family. And certainly, no romantic closeness with anyone else but me. No hanging out with, they're just friends, alone. Number 14. I'm not cheating, so you may look through my phone, but no passwords because I don't want my accounts tampered with. We definitely should post about our relationship because it's fun. Number 15. I don't care if you're rich or poor, as it won't be merging with my money anyway, as long as you're attractive and meet all my other criteria. Number 18. Not interested in funeral talk. Let's leave that until we're 70. Number 19. The happily ever after mindset is possible, but like winning the lottery. You talk about the happily ever after mindset is possible, but it's like winning the lottery. Well, for you to end up in a relationship, that would be like you winning the lottery. And quite frankly, I just don't see it happening. But good luck on your search. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.